Hi friends, 1101 Communications Corporation. Capital structure theory B After five months of a fairly relaxed work schedule, Katsu Mizuno found himself wrapped up in an intense analysis. A first-year associate at Lynch Investments, Mizuno had received a morning phone call in February 1996. The caller was his boss, Anna Curdy. The subject was a long-time customer, 1101. In contrast to the booming stock market, the performance of 1101's share price had been underwhelming. The board of directors had recently discussed repurchasing shares in order to bolster shareholder value. But cash was tight. If 1101 intended to implement a stock repurchase program within the next six months, the company would have to use debt financing to supply the cash. Although the current debt-to-equity ratio of 40% was arguably below the industry average and 1101 had excess debt capacity, the decision was far from simple. 1101 had contacted Lynch to provide an analysis and recommendation regarding the proposed debt issue and stock repurchase. Curdy needed to respond quickly, which gave Mizuno little time. The board planned to disclose the details of its plan to improve shareholder value by the end of the following week. Any recommendation and accompanying analysis would be intensely scrutinized. The heat was clearly on. As Mizuno labored to complete and refine the analysis in front of him, heavy on his mind was how he would relay his findings to Curdy. What information and resources would she need in order to advise the client on whether to move forward with the plan? The CASESOLUTION.com is the number one destination for getting the case study and analyzed. Thanks for watching this video.